A police officer receives a call that a robbery is in progress. The police officer rushes to the scene where he sees an unarmed man fleeing the crime scene. Yet he pulls out his service revolver, shoots the man in the back, killing him. The question is whether the police was justified in that use of deadly force. Stay tuned and I'll answer that question. Hello, I'm attorney Augustus Corbett of the Corbett Law Firm. I practice personal injury and criminal defense law here in the state of Texas. The question before us today is whether or not a police officer can use deadly force to stop a, an unarmed fleeing felon from escaping a crime scene. And that question has arisen because of the killing in Ferguson, Missouri of Michael Brown. And so it's being hotly debated right now. And here's the answer to the question. The answer is no. A police officer who sees an unarmed fleeing felon trying to escape a crime scene may not use deadly force unless the officer has probable cause to believe that that unarmed felon poses a significant threat of death or serious physical injury to the officer or to others. Now that is coming straight out of a case that the U.S. Supreme Court decided back in the 1980s called Tennessee versus Garner. Again, the U.S. Supreme Court said a police officer is not justified in the use of deadly force to stop an unarmed felon from fleeing unless that unarmed felon poses a significant threat of death or serious physical injury to the police officer or to others. If you're facing a similar matter, give me a call at 214-725-0254 so we can discuss it. You can also reach me at www.corbettfarm.com. Thank you.